All right, real quick, let me plug the joint. Why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. Again, why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. Having a mouthpiece is the secret weapon you need to level up your game when talking to women. Trust me, gentlemen, it's a game changer. Now, essentially, all a mouthpiece really means, right, is to be able to speak in a convincing, persuasive manner. Again, all it really means to have a mouthpiece is to speak in a convincing, persuasive manner. Having a mouthpiece is the secret weapon you need to level up your game when talking to women. Trust me, gentlemen, it's a game changer. Let me plug the joint. Why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. I'm going to show you guys a little clip real quick. One of my favorite movies is an Eddie Murphy movie. It's a fucking classic. Some of you may recognize it. Let's get it. Hey, listen, my name is Reggie. I'm Candy. Yo, look, Candy, um, if I don't get some trim before the night's over, I'm a bus. What? Some trim. Some Mugambo. Some sex. Are you crazy? You can't ask me any better than that. Right? He was direct. He was letting a young lady know. He was trying to get it in. And what did she say? Are you crazy? You can't ask me any better than that? Gentlemen. Why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. There are a lot of guys who broach the topic of sex, but the way that they did it, it left a lot to be desired. One of the things about sex appeal, having sex appeal is the appeal of you sexually, right? Again, sex appeal is the appeal of you sexually. When women or looking at you, when women are conversing with you, right? Are you sexually appealing to them? Do they desire you sexually? Do they get the feeling that you're somebody they may want to engage in sexual activities with? Having a mouthpiece can aid you, right? It can aid you. Now, here's the thing. When, you, when you're very first dealing with women, right? When you very first have a conversation with a woman face to face, women pretty much know, right? They pretty much know whether or not you're the type of guy they can see themselves having sex with. They already know. So typically, you're going to have women respond in one of three fashions. Okay, let me say this shit again. Typically, you're going to have women respond in one of three fashions. One, they're going to reject you outright. They're just going to, boom, get rid of you, right? And the reason why they're doing that is simply there is nothing about you where they feel like, I want to have sex with this guy. They already identify just by looking at you pretty quickly. Nah, he ain't it, right? The second way a woman might view you is she is instantaneously sexually attracted to you. That's usually because she was seduced by your physical appearance, which could be a combination of your face, your body, and just how you're dressed, right? Your whole presentation package, right? Everything about you from head to toe, right? Where she can just take a gaze at you and be like, mm, girl, who he is, that's it right there. He my type, right? Real quick, let me share a story with you guys. Many, many years ago, I was in a mall right here in San Antonio, Ingram Park Mall. And I was speaking to one of my partners, right? It's a dude I hadn't seen since we were in high school, right? We played football together, right? And so we were chit-chatting, and he was always a cock diesel muscular dude, right? <clears throat> so we were having a conversation. And as we were parting ways, he went off in this direction. I walked off in the opposite direction. As I was walking off in the opposite direction, there were a group of girls coming towards me who had seen him, right? And there was about maybe three or four girls. And one of the girls was like, ooh, girl, look at him, right? Referring to the homie. And one of the chicks was like, oh, look at his face. 
And the other woman was like, fuck his face, look at his body, right? So that particular woman was enticed or seduced by his body from the neck down, right? So on occasion, you will run into women who are instantaneously sexually attracted to you, right? And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a muscular body. You can just be their type. There can be some, you can be a average looking dude in a body or even average in a face, but there's something about your whole ensemble, something about your presentation where you're just that woman's type, where she's feeling it, right? Now, in the instance that a woman is not instantaneously sexually attracted to you, or a woman hasn't just outright rejected your advances, the next category is the category that many men are gonna find themselves in. And that is the category where women haven't decided whether it's a firm yes, that they're gonna have sex with you, and they haven't decided that it's a firm no. They're kind of on the fence. They're kind of in the middle. Why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. This is when it matters the most. Having a mouthpiece matters the most when one, a woman is on a fence about whether or not she wants to partake in having sex with you, or you just don't know, right? A lot of you guys, when you have conversations with women, you don't have the ability to discern or ascertain where that woman is really at. Right. And a lot of guys, they mistake a woman's willingness to banter back and forth conversationally. They mistake that as genuine interest. And in many cases, it's not genuine interest. Okay. Y'all got to remember women do not like confrontation. So in many cases, women will have a back and forth with you. It could be they don't want to be rude. It also could be that you're actually quite entertaining. You're a funny motherfucker, right? So they're actually enjoying talking to you because you are, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you are an entertaining conversationalist. But being an entertaining conversationalist doesn't mean you have a mouthpiece. It doesn't mean you have the ability to verbally entice a woman to want to have sex with you. Why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. Basically, what a mouthpiece is, is your ability to flirt with the woman. Okay, Pete, what I'm saying, your ability to flirt with the woman. Now, you can be uh, playfully flirtatious and you can be sexually flirtatious. Me, I like to mix the two, right? I like to mix, mix the two. I mix them together, right? Right, you can start off being playful, and then what you can do is you can peep the young lady's reaction or response to your playful flirtatious ways, and then you can up the ante. You can escalate the situation and start being a little more sexual with your flirtation, right? Having a mouthpiece, being able to verbally entice a woman goes a long way, and all you're really doing essentially is you are painting a picture to that woman, right? It's almost like you're painting a mental picture. And even some cases, maybe even a visual picture. You're painting a picture to that woman as to what it may be like to have sex with you, right? Let me play the Eddie Murphy clip again real quick. I want you guys to pick up on something. And I'm going to point something out. Hey, listen, my name is Reggie. I'm Candy. Yo, look, Candy, um, if I don't get some trim before the night's over, I'm a bus. What? Trim, Mugambo, sex. Are you crazy? You can't ask me any better than that. The main problem that, and I understand it's a movie, right? But even in real life, guys make the mistake of doing what Eddie did. What Eddie did was he painted a picture of him being a selfish lover. He painted a picture of him only wanting to have sex to pleasure himself. Right. It was all about him just getting his nut off. Right. That's the picture he painted. A lot of times when you guys broach the topic of sex or you attempt to get sexual with a woman. Inadvertently, you come off the same way where you make it seem like the woman is not going to get anything out of it. All she's really going to be is a human pincushion. 
So when we talk about enticing a woman, you have to paint this visual and mental picture of what is she going to get out of it? How is she going to benefit from having sex with you? you do y'all understand? Why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. You have to paint a picture. You have to appeal to a woman sexually to an extent where she feels like she's going to enjoy herself. It's not so much about you just getting your nut off. It's about her enjoying herself. Do y'all understand that? Get it? Got it? Yo, like the video. Become a member of the channel membership. Also, check out the Patreon. I have exclusive videos on both the channel membership and the Patreon. Like and share the content. Why a mouthpiece is essential when talking to women. Gentlemen, all you're really doing is you are verbally enticing a woman. You are painting a picture that you're going to supply good dick, right? You're painting a picture that you are about to sexually satisfy this woman, right? That's all you're really doing. How, how you choose to articulate that, the words you choose to use, it goes a long way in whether or not a woman goes from uncertainty to, yeah, I'm, I'm a fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? At first I was unsure, but he got my attention. The curiosity is there. <clears throat> the anticipation, the intrigue, all the things essential to a woman feeling like she wants to partake in that activity or presence. Having a mouthpiece goes a long way. I'm out.